Hello and welcome to another colouring video. Today I'm going to be testing some watercolour paint on a selection of different colouring books and finding out which ones is okay to paint with watercolour and which ones just doesn't work. So I'll just go through the books I'm going to be testing. So there's this What's in the Woods book first of all and there's two other books in this series what's in the water and what's in the garden so if you've got any of those the paper's just the same in all of them so if it works in this one it should work in the other ones as well The Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen again she's got other books so I'm presuming it'll be the same paper in the other books that it is in this Millie Marotta's Animal Kingdom quite a lot of the books the artist has all the books out as well so I'm just going to presume that the paper is the same in all of the books of that particular artist um, except for the Joanna Basford books because I know it's not the same the paper in the Joanna Basford books varies between different books and different publishers so I'm just going to be testing the ones that I've got so they're all UK publications so there's the Enchanted Forest the Lost Ocean, The Magical Jungle, which I know this does take watercolour paint because I've already done one watercolour painting in it and it takes the paint really well. There's very little buckling to the page. You can, you can see there that it, it has left it slightly bumpy but that doesn't prevent you from colouring this page in and there's absolutely no bleed through whatsoever. And I put a lot of watery paint on this, especially on these red flowers here. I was literally putting puddles of red watercolour paint on and it just didn't save through at all. So that one's absolutely fine for watercolour paint. And there's the secret guard as well. Um, I'm not sure about this one because I've been told that the paint beads up on the paper as though the paper's got some kind of coat coating on it that is preventing the paint from working. Um, I've got the Beatrix Potter colouring book. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try the Anamorphia. The Time Garden by Daria Song. Tanglewood by Jessica Palmer. Escape to Wonderland, I know this one's fine with watercolour because I've already done done a watercolour um, wash that was actually a wash that was quite a lot of paint on that and it's absolutely fine you can see it's still quite flat it was a, it was a little bit more um, buckled than that when I first um, painted it but because it's been closed in the book on the bookshelf tight like this it's kind of flattened out even more so even if you do end up with a bit of buckling it does eventually more or less flatten back out so I'll be trying one of the um, Hannah Carlson books The Daydreams and one of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith books again I'm presuming the paper is the same I think it is the same in both of our colouring books Okay, so I'll just make some paint up and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween colouring book. And in each book I'm going to I'm going to pick a large area to colour to see how it'll take this watery red paint and I'll do one one layer of paint and just see how well it takes that water because I mean some paper might be able to take large amounts of wet watery paint um, but then other papers, if they can't take that kind of watercolour paint, they might still be able to take little small areas of wet paint at a time 
which is absolutely fine for colouring books because you can just colour little bits in at a time and if you're not soaking the whole page or a large area it won't buckle so much so first off I'm going to try with the larger area in each book so I'm, I'm going to colour this dress in I say colour in, I'm going to paint this dress in this watery red and just to see Paint one layer and you can see there's quite a lot of water there it's really puddling up quite a large puddle of water I should say Okay, so, so you can see the paper has kind of buckled, but I mean even watercolour paper does actually buckle a little bit and that might very well dry a lot flatter than that. So I would say that, that, that that's probably going to be okay, it hasn't gone through onto the other side. Uh, but you can see where the paper is wet. We'll leave that to dry and then see how bad that is when it's dried. So now I'll try the Hannah Carlson Daydreams book. So I'll just find another picture with a larger area that we can paint to test out a very wet wash. Okay, I think I'll do this fish. So I'll just do the main body of the fish. Okay, very slight buckle in. The colour hasn't bled through at all. And I think it'll probably dry a little bit flatter and then it'll even flatter still once the book's been closed for a while. So I would say yes, this one I'll take watercolour. So I'll set that aside to dry and we'll, we'll look at them all once they're dry as well. Okay so that's that one painted and you can see how wrinkly it is. So that's what it would look like when you very first paint it but then it does end up pretty flat again. Okay so next I'm going to try the Tango Wood by Jessica Palmer. And I think I'll just paint the middle of this floral pattern. Okay. 
okay so that's that one that one's buckled a little bit but it may dry flatter so we'll leave that to dry see what it'll what it's like next the time garden by Darius song okay so I think I'll just paint a section of this back page here because there's some space I'm not sure if this is going to work with this type of paper it's um paper's a lot thinner than the other in the other books you can see i don't know if you can notice but as soon as i'm putting it down it's kind of like staining. and when i go over this can you see how it's stained right away it's like literally sinking right into the paper straight away which would make if make it really difficult to get like it would make it really difficult to get <laughs> the cat what? demanding to be let out so I was, what I was trying to say was it would be difficult to get a, like a smooth layer because you can see it's just creating these lines so I don't think that paper's in any good for watercolour to be honest with you I mean it's and it's buckling really bad really bad so I probably wouldn't use watercolour on this book I better go and let the cat out the next is Anamorphia similar sort of paper to the Daria Song Time Garden book so I'm not sure it's going to take watercolour very well but I'll try it anyhow so I'll just go over a section of this yeah it's very similar to the um, the other paper like I thought definitely not good for watercolour washes I'll just zoom in and show you can you see how the paper's got like it's gone all like bitty where the paint's like really saturated right through into the paper now it didn't do that with the other books so that's probably not going to be look I mean it's actually gone right through so that's no good for watercolour really these ones that are no good for watercolour what I'll do is I'll, I'll do further tests on them to see if they're okay just for like little bits of watercolour just in little tiny sections so I'll, I'll wait until I've tested them all with the watercolour wash and then I'll do the other kind of testing okay so now I'm going to do the big Trix Potter book and this page is actually repeated which is handy because I can use one as a test page so I'll use this one and I'll just paint a square Okay, a little bit of that's come through. Just a tiny little bit, I'll zoom in. You can see there's some little dots there where it's bled through. And you can see the little dots where it's seeping into the paper. When I think when it does that, that's when you're getting the dots on the on the back when it's blading through. You can see it's like really soaking in in, in little patches and then it bleeds through to the back so that's probably not going to be any good for watercolour paint so now we'll try the secret garden and I think I'll just paint a square again in this one on one of the back pages and it won't work it just won't If 
you, if you rub it a little bit it will eventually stick to the paper but when you first put it down you can see it just looks it's as though the paper's got a plastic coat and so that's definitely no good. So the only other thing I can think of is applying a watercolour ground. I've got a pot of watercolour ground. Apparently you can paint it on anything at all and it's like a ground for watercolour paint so then you can paint watercolours on top. So after I've done this video I'll do another video on the books that won't take watercolour. I'll apply watercolour ground and see if that makes a difference. We know that Magical Jungle does take watercolour. because I've already done that and the, I didn't have any problems at all and that's a, that's actually on my channel as a video if you it's just like a speed paint video if you'd like to watch it but I did just paint in little little bits so I'll try and do more of a wash like I have with the others Let's see, I'll, I'll use the test page. Okay, so I'll leave that to dry. So, last option. Okay, so that's probably not a very good paper either for watercolour. This is the Lost Ocean with the white paper though. There's one with the more cream coloured paper which is like a thicker paper and there's a version with the white paper. Um, I can remember being in a shop a couple of months ago and there was a big stack of Lost Ocean books and some of them were in the cream colour and some of them were in this white thinner paper. Yeah, but I've got the white one, which is a thinner paper. It might be the cream paper that's the same as the Secret Garden that won't take the watercolour, but it might be the cream paper that's the same as the Magical Jungle that does. I'm not sure about that one, but this white one doesn't really take it very well. It's, um, it's too thin, but it might be okay on smaller areas. So now the Enchanted Forest. Looks like I have already tested something on there, but I'm not sure exactly what it was. So anyhow, we'll test that again. No, it's the same as the Secret Garden. Oh, it does go on a little bit easier. It beads up a little bit, but then after a couple of strokes, it seems to be okay. But it looks like it's just soaking right in. I mean that's not a nice look is it when you want a nice smooth colour. So it might dry, it might dry out though, it might dry a smooth colour. So we'll have to wait and see. And yeah it's bleeding right through, it's coming right through. So that's probably another no no. So now we'll try Millie Marotta's Animal Kingdom. I don't think it's going to work. It's, a, it's the same paper that's in, in the Lost Ocean and Imagimorphia. It's the same kind of paper. I really don't think it's going to work, but I will do a little test anyhow. So I've got a blank page here. That isn't too bad actually. 
it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it hasn't actually buckled a hell of a lot. It has. It's just. It hasn't buckled any more than the. The others, and it doesn't seem to be seeping into the paper either. It's um. Not too bad. And if I turn it over, it's not bleeding through either. So. That would probably work because th cause that might dry flat. So that's the Mini Marotta one. So now I'll try the Magical City by Lizzie Mary Cullen. Again, this is that white paper that's not very thick. So it might work, I'll just try it. Okay, it looks like it's gone all bitty it looks like it's seeping into the paper yeah and it's bleeding through so that one's not good for large washes so next I'll try a page out of this book this is quite thick paper so I'm hoping this is gonna be okay it's a lot thicker than the white paper in the cut in the other books so I need to find an area where I can paint a large amount of red. I don't really want to ruin any of these pictures. Let's see if there's a page. Okay. I couldn't pick a page to sacrifice out of this book because all the pictures are so lovely. And there isn't a test page or any extra pages at the back that I can test. So I've made up another colour, I've made up a yellow and I'm going to paint these leaves here um, in red and yellow I'm like in like a mixture of the bo both of them so I'll test it that way can kind of tell right away that just the way it sits on the paper that it's probably going to be fine So I got this book in um, a garden centre and I can't find, in the UK I can't find anywhere where they're available onli online but in the USA, um, Amazon USA do have these on so if you're, if you're in the US and you want one of these books they do sell them on Amazon. If you're in the UK, I got mine in Dobby's Garden Centre in Carlisle, so I know would you imagine probably other garden centres sell them. It, one of the, it's one of those garden centres where there's different departments, where they usually have like a book selection and um, your Christmas gifts and things like that. Yes, yeah, so they just got a, um, so they have a, they have a colour and book section now. Okay, so I'll leave that to dry, but I can see it's probably going to work well with watercolour. It is buckling slightly, but the but the watercolour is sitting nicely on top of the paper, like it would with a watercolour paper. Um, it kind of like sits on top; it doesn't seep in, um, and then and then it just dries on the surface of the paper and that's because watercolour paper has a um, it has a coating on it to stop it from seeping 
is seeping in and considering this isn't a watercolour paper it, it's, it's working quite well so I don't want to lift the page up and look at the back just yet because if you can see where it's puddling here and here it'll just run over the page so you didn't puddle on the on the paper that was no good it, it didn't really puddle it just seeped right in and seeped out the back okay I'll probably turn it now so it hasn't it's a slight buckle end it'll probably dry flattish and there's no seep through it's not coming through okay so now all the books have dried so I'll go through them one by one so the magical city still a little bit damp but it isn't totally dry so although it did it seeped through to the other side which isn't very good it didn't buckle that much and it's dried pretty smooth look at the colours dried pretty smooth um, but I think because it seeps through onto the back page that would have to be a no so I'll make two piles I'll make a pile of a no pile that it was no good with the watercolour wash and a yes pile for the books that were fine so the, this one is the Anamorphia it's pretty buckled and it's seeped through really bad so that's an, another no Lost Ocean white paper it dried quite flat it's actually dried quite flat apart from the curly edge but I mean that would just go back when the book was closed anyhow um, and it didn't seep through so actually the Lost Ocean might be okay and it's the, it's dried pretty smooth as well. Those little little itty, itty bits. There, um, it was just the saturation of the paper with water, but it, they've actually dried out. I'll just zoom in. Kind of looks okay, I think. I think I'll put Lost Ocean in the S yes pile. Next is the Enchanted Forest. Okay, so you can see that's dried. That's dried like that. It's it, it hasn't dried right. It hasn't dried smooth at all. And it's seeped through. So the Enchanted Forest's a no-no. Magical Jungle. Yeah. That's absolutely fine, so that's yes. Beatrix Potter. It's dried a smooth colour, slightly buckled, but that'll flatten out more as time goes on and the book's closed. It did seep through a little bit, so I'm going to put that in the no pile. Animal Kingdom. It didn't seep through onto the other side. The buckler isn't that bad. I don't think it's fully dry. I, I really don't think that's fully dry. So I think that'll dry a little bit flatter. So I would say yes for the Animal Kingdom. The um, Tangle Wood by Jessica Palmer. Yeah, very little buckle in. No, no seep through to the other side. It's dried almost flat and it will probably go even flatter in time. So I'd say yes for that one. So next the Darius song, Time Garden. It's dried a flat even colour. Minimal buckle into the papers, not a lot of buckle in and it hasn't seeped through so I would say yes for that one same for this one 
that's how buckled that is now it's dried out that's how buckled that is now so we compare it to the other one which is a lot flatter just to show you how um, how much flatter it will get over time with the book being closed so that's a definite yes Escape to Wonderland The Daydreams by Hannah Carlson it's dried a smooth colour hardly any buckling at all it's dried almost flat and no seep through that's a definite yes for watercolour the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween dried almost flat only very slight buckling and no seep through so that's a definite yes and then the what's in the woods book I think that one's performed the best. It's still slightly damp. It's slightly buckled just where it's wet. But only very slightly. You can, I mean, you can barely tell at all. Um, so this is definitely, yeah, this is the best performer one for watercolour, I think. This followed by the Magical Jungle. Um, and then the Secret Garden. That's for the no pile because it just it was like you had a plastic coating on the paper and it you had to rub the paper to get the paint to stick to it so that's a definite no so now all these ones that, that took the really wet wash will definitely be okay for smaller areas so I don't need to retest those so I'll retest these ones for smaller areas and, and that they clearly won't take a wash but they might take a smaller area of paint start with the secret garden I'll get one of my test pages okay so I'm gonna just try and paint this little leaf here It just won't stick, but I'll just keep persevering until I can get it to stick. I mean, that's not ideal. It's going to take you five times as long to get the paint to stick to the page. It does eventually stick to it. And that would only be kind of for the base layer, so I suppose it would be okay. The smaller areas. Okay, so if you just paint in small areas like that with a little bit of perseverance, you can get it to work and it doesn't seep through because it's only a small amount of paint. You could use the secret garden with watercolour if, if you really wanted to. So that's that one. Next on the no list was the Beatrix Potter. Let's find my test page. So I'll paint one of these, I think it's a pair. Okay, so it looks okay on that side. Yeah, that looks absolutely fine because, I mean, there's no um, pictures on the back of these Beatrix Potter pages. So, I mean, you can see where the pa where the, the paper's buckled where the actual paint is, but that's only because it's wet now. When that dries out, that should be absolutely fine. 
yeah so I would change that to yes I think you can use that with watercolour as well just not really wet watercolour so next was Enchanted Forest I, mean, I would imagine this is just going to be the same as Sacred Garden which is probably fine in the smaller areas I'll just paint one of these leaves I'll paint this little toadstool I think So there's a little bit of beading with this but it's not as bad as the secret garden. It goes on just after a couple of strokes. I mean this brown that I'm painting on now My brush is only quite damp, it's not absolutely saturated so I'm just taking this kind of off my palette and a bit from here and it's not absolutely saturated so again you don't have to use absolutely saturated watercolour, you can just use it like this and then the paper's even less likely to buckle. So that's absolutely fine as well. Just turn the page over. You can barely see where it is. It's not seeping through or anything. So I would definitely say yes for the Enchanted Forest as well. So now the Anamorphia. So I'll just paint this little doll here I think it might have nearly seeped through. I think that tiny little dot there is a little bit of seep through. But, but it can be done if you if you keep in the paint quite dry, not like absolutely saturated. So technically you could do that, but you do risk it going through onto the next page. And these are all the back of the pages are all um well, they're printed on both sides, I should say, so it's a little bit risky with, with the Anamorphia, but you could you could do it at a push. Um, but I will be trying this book with the watercolour ground in the video that I'm going to make about that. So that's that one. And the last one is the Magical City. Okay, so I'll do this little teapot here.
yeah that seems to have worked absolutely fine it hasn't come through onto the back that's where it is so again nearly every single book will take small small areas at a time providing you're not absolutely saturating the paper most colouring books will take watercolour except for those that are made with that really thin um, printer paper that, that's just literally what you would write a letter on just ordinary everyday paper if the books are made out of that then that probably won't work but even then you could probably get away with it but it would leak through onto the back the only thing is you won't be able to do any like fancy watercolour effects that you could do on real watercolour paper but if you just want to just use watercolours simply because it's a lot faster than using coloured pencils and you not want to do any fancy watercolour effects then I would say you, you could technically use watercolours in most water in most colouring books. So I hope the video has been useful for you. If you haven't considered using watercolour paints for colouring books I hope this is going to get you interested because it's a lot quicker than coloured pencil Sometimes when a picture is too large and coloured pencil takes a long time, sometimes it can get tedious. It's not quite like that with watercolour because it's it's a lot quicker medium to use. Um, it's a little bit tricky to get used to at first, but don't let that put you off. If you if you think that you're terrible at watercolour, it's just not true. I think everybody's terrible at watercolour when they first have a go. I know I certainly was. The first few times I tried watercolour, the results were absolutely atrocious. But that's just because it just takes a little bit of practice to get used to. And then once you get used to it, it's a really, really lovely, enjoyable medium to work with. So I'd, I would definitely, definitely recommend trying watercolour if you haven't already. And if you have and you think that you're just rubbish at it, just persevere a few more times and you will get the hang of it. Yes, yeah, so thanks again for watching. Please share my video on social media. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave any comments below if you've got any questions. And I hope you'll tune into my next videos.